Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. So today's video will be more of an ideas, inspiration kind of video rather than a tutorial, but it might turn into a tutorial. So we'll see how we go. Today's topic is using album pages uh, in our junk journals really. So how this started is, this is also an idea, I guess. Uh, I'll just talk about this and then I'll show you what I've done with them. So originally what I wanted to do is make a junk journal out of this old photo album. So what I wanted to do is leave some of these photos pockets in and then have a signature here. So I've removed pages and then leave some more pockets in and then have another signature. So that was the idea for this book. But then um, I kind of, my heart wasn't in it. I wasn't not loving it because it's not, the pages weren't coming out as good as I wanted them to. Yeah, so I wasn't really loving it. And then I also noticed that uh, there's quite a bit of damage here and it's quite chunky, quite big. So I actually gave up on the idea. But I might in the future have a smaller one here. These are all, uh, these have all been used. You can see there, you know, there's a lot of them floating around in secondhand shops and things like that. So I think maybe with this smaller one, I think it would be really nice to do, uh, make a junk journal and then to have a few pages throughout that have photo photo sleeves or photo pockets. So that is an idea that I might do in the future. It just didn't work out this time with this big one. So after I took out all of the pages, I was trying to think about uh, what I can do with them. And there, uh, surprisingly, there isn't a lot of videos and tutorials and, and things using these photo and I think they're awesome to go into journals because, you know, they don't necessarily have to be for photos. They can be for ephemera and postcards and all sorts of things. So I just sort of tried to think um, about what I can, you know, do with them. And then I came up with a few different things. So I'm just going to go through the more of the boring ones first and then we'll get to the cool ones. So the first thing that I did is I hinged them like this to use them as pages in a signature. So I'll just show you. So this is one of the journals I'm making at the moment. So this is nothing is done yet, but like how pretty cool I think would it look to have one of these in there, you know, and then you come across a pair. I just put a scrap piece of paper here, but you could have all sorts of different things in ephemera and cool little things to put in there even for a photo you know so I think they look cool in the journal so the way that I did this is I cut out two pockets so you will see that once you cut them in half because I'm using all of the albums obviously are different that are out there but the ones that I was using like this big one you can see that there's two slots here so then when I cut through the middle to create you know separate so that they're separate then obviously this can come out and then we can do all sorts of things with that so what I did with that first idea was I grabbed a scrap piece of paper put these on top like so maybe I used a little bit of glue just to hold them in place and then I went to my sewing machine and I sewed around that way and then around this way and that's what it looks like so that's that I mean there's all sorts of I'm sure you're coming up with your own ideas so that's that one uh, the next one that I did is pretty much the same thing the only thing is these big ones I'm going to use I'm going to be making some large journals so I first started actually sewing through them and then through here because if you're putting ephemera in it might sort of slide through this little part here so I actually was sewing that through but then um, in these ones I just glued them together I didn't do any sewing anything like that I might go put it through my sewing machine just there in the middle maybe around here but this is for a very large journal that I'm planning to make in the future Okay, these are my fun ones. All right, so very, very, very simple. Um, but once you fill them up with all sorts of goodies, they look amazing, don't they? So let's take this one, for example. In here, I've just got a little booklet. 
this is actually uh, like a little cluster uh, of all different types of things and then in there I just have a very simple little like a notepad journal type thing and that slots in and then over here on the back I have a tag and just some pretty paper as well so it's just it's the adding of the little things that makes a thing amazing because all this is is one of these I've just cut the top bit off and then I sewed around the edges here and then I get a little pocket like this very very simple but very effective in a journal and then I glued this on this little snippet uh, not a snippet um, cluster and then I have the little booklet in there and then just some an assortment of different things here at the back a little tag and then a journaling spot and that looks really effective in a journal and then it can just be perhaps put in in, in the front pocket of a journal or clipped onto a page like this or uh, slotted into a pocket inside a journal use it in happy mail or snail mail or all sorts of different things so I have all these different ones and I just had lots of fun making these clusters and filling them up with different types of things like paper tags a little raffle here a little playing card on this one I've got a tiny little notebook so very simple but quite effective and beautiful and fun to play around with so here a tag and over here a little booklet over here and then another little booklet here start today with a grateful heart just so many things so many different things that we can do with this and I always love to come up with ideas of what what are some things that I haven't thought about using in a journal yet and then like these album pockets you know over here I've got also another little booklet at the back here and that's a sticker so that's pretty cool about these pockets things will stick stickers stick onto it really well a little cluster there all right so that's that one and then another idea that I had was these ones so what these ones are I made five different ones so they flip open like this I didn't actually fill in the uh, the middle the inside I thought maybe I will leave that for when it's actually in a journal so I just put a, bits and pieces I just put a tag at the back and then um, just this piece of ephemera here at the front but what this is is a flip over the page so I'll just show you okay so this is another journal I'm currently making so let's go to a page any page will do and then say for example this one here and then you have a little flip over so that can just sit in the way it is or it can be clipped in with a paper clip this is just for an example to show you and then it's well the journal is not bound clearly but everything's moving around but if it's sitting on a page it looks so effective and so beautiful and so much fun and it can be used for photos or whatever you know and then over here so up here I've actually covered it with some of this book page on the inside I actually left this little memo section so that you know maybe something get me, can be written in there this is the back I've just made some large tags from a file folder and stamped on a book page glued it down everything is inked and then I just did a little bit of sewing around the edges because it just adds so much interest but very simple and quick tag and it looks beautiful in this little project and the way that I made the pockets it's pretty self-explanatory I'm pretty sure you worked it out already but I might demonstrate with one actually okay so what I do is I want to I want them to be even I want them to be exactly the same so that when I fold them 
they will be exactly the same they're not going to be like this they're not going to be one smaller one wider so the way that i do that i find the middle i want them lining up here here everywhere so this is a little bit of a tutorial it seems and then i just cut off where they where the fold is so i'm separating them now, and i want to make sure that everything is nice and even and now i've got two pieces so then i make sure they're facing the same way if you always have this memo thing if they don't then you know uh, all the, the problem is all albums are different so this that's why i said at the start this is more just to get you you know the ideas flowing so now i just want to trim this down i want to make sure that i have a nice edge here okay so that's looking good all right now the next thing i want to do is just glue this on top of that and really that's all there is to it so i'm using my bowl a boil craft glue very fast drying glue that's why i love it so much and now i want to make sure that everything is aligning perfectly well when i'm gluing this down so i want everything to be as straight as it can be so i'm lining it up with that line or you can line it up with the edge of your desk or whatever okay so that's all lined up so now before i actually fold it in half i take this to my sewing machine i'm not going to actually do it on video but i take this to my sewing machine and what i found is uh, when sewing the pocket these because they come out i always start on this edge the one that can open because then they move less that's just i don't know i just found that easier so the way that i would do very self-explanatory as you can see here i just take it to my sewing machine and i sew all the way around all the way around if you don't have a sewing machine you could perhaps uh, hold this close with maybe with a paper clip you know like that and then slot your ephemera in there you don't need to have a sewing machine to be able to do this project but uh, it's more secure this way that's why i did it i'm not sure about glue because you'll be able to see through if you're using glue you'll be able to see through and it's plastic uh, glue can't really hold on to plastic very well so sewing would be your best option but if not maybe paper clips or maybe some nice decorative paper clips like these spiral ones for example okay so that's that one and then the last one that i did is this one here so what i did with this i will just take one one of these out and i will show you so i'll take everything out that's what it looks like so i don't know if you can see that this is actually cut here so that the pocket is not coming from the top it's actually it will be much easier to use because things can just slide in from the side and it's not even here it's not sewn or glued down so they can just slide in from the side like that and i think that's also very effective and then maybe gluing a little bit of lace along the line I'm not sure how that would work with the plastic i think it might because i've glued these down and they stay on pretty well i just glued the middle i didn't glue the sides but um they stay on pretty well so maybe a little bit of lace might work so i might demonstrate this one here first thing that i would do is i cut this whole thing off because what's bugging me is the fact that my thing is this way and the memo is this way so that's why I cut them off I don't like them and then I take this out and now I want to trim this but I want to leave a little bit here and a tiny tiny little bit up here so I'm not going to cut right from the corner I'm just going to leave maybe what would it be maybe a quarter of an inch maybe even less than quarter of an inch so let's say i've got my this is right in the middle over here 
right at that point. I'm just going to move it a tiny little bit. And then I'll move this up here. It doesn't, it's not exact science, so. And then I just trim. And I'm left with this. So you can see up here, a tiny little bit. Tiny little bit left there because I'm going to sew all the way up and I just want to have a bit more plastic here so that it doesn't rip easily. Okay, so that's ready. The next thing I did is I just decorated this a little bit. I just used a stencil to decorate. I'm just going to use this to demonstrate. Does anyone know what this is? Somebody gave these to me. They're actually are for your shower and you put it down over the, what's it called, the drain and then all the hair, that, that's what it's for. All the hair stays on here and then you just peel it off and put, put it in the bin. But of course, you know, ridiculous. Of course, I'm going to use it in my journaling. So many things can be a stencil. Just recently started using this, well, yesterday actually started using these brushes got on the bandwagon to use these makeup brushes and I love it. Let's see how this looks. Nice. Two stencils in one, right? So really anything can be a stencil. Anything that has some holes. This was from some flower, uh, paper flowers. That are used up and then of course now I have this beautiful stencil. Now that we've done that we're going to slip this back into here. So I like to make sure that it's sitting in very nicely and then I will take it to my machine and I will sew from up here all the way down and then down to the side and stop there. You can if you want sew this you know up to there you can do whatever you want really so I'm just going to sew there and there I'll be right back okay and there we go I have just sewn that and in case you're wondering about needle size and all that I do get that so that question very often um, I just use whatever you know the thing that came with my machine the needle standard size needle nothing special it came with the machine and it's still in there and I use it on pretty much everything. Uh, if you, you know, use your machine for what it's intended for, your garments and things like that, then you might need to swap your needles around because paper blunts the needles very, very quickly. So the needle that I'm using is quite blunt and I know some people get really, really annoyed with that, but it does not bother me and I think it looks fine. See? It looks perfectly fine. All right, and the only thing that's left to do is fill these pockets up. So what I did with these ones, so you can see, I think these, they look really, really interesting. Um, I'll put that one back in. But so for example, this is these newspaper pages from 1908, but it's not actually from 1908. It's actually from a book, but this was the news you know, in October 1908, and then all of the news and all of the main things. So uh, they're really interesting. I like the tea dyed, and I like to, you know, put that in there. That's the first thing, and then I can put in. I did one of my cards that I have a video on as well, the altered playing cards. And then this little tiny envelope, which is actually like a little note place place to write some notes and that goes in there and I'm actually finding this sliding pockets much easier to use um I mean I like these ones too they're not uh, hard to use but it's just easier to put things in quickly slide it to the side rather than you know from up the top but it's just different ways of doing things and then at the back I just have this little notepad piece of paper and I think it looks so pretty when I take it out and I can see these stenciling at the back. I think it looks beautiful. I didn't do it with the first one that I did. It didn't cross my mind. 
and then you know I find that with any project once you start working with an idea and you start doing the same thing each time you get a new idea and then something else will come into your mind and and you just keep building up on it so my first idea was you know to make little pockets and then I thought I'm going to make little uh, you know pages for my signatures and then I thought how about if I make um, what do you even call this like over the top page flip I'm not sure page hugger I don't know what would you call it and the more that I did it the you know I just had ideas popping in but I have to admit with this project I didn't have as many ideas as you know sometimes I'm bombarded with all the different things that we can do but with this really the only thing that I've come up with is pockets and there's only so many pockets and things that you can put in a journal so I don't know I mean they would be cool to use for photos as well because that's what they're intended for but somehow in a junk journal so yeah these ones that's those ones and I think this one might actually be my favorite let's see how it's going to look in a journal I always seem to pull this one out to demonstrate because I love it so much and I'm hoarding it keeping it haven't sold it yet so let's see here we go we, we've got a pocket at the front and then maybe something like this would look good in a pocket something like this would look good in a pocket like that yeah okay let's have a look what else have we got maybe we can have it clipped in like this I mean imagine just imagine when you have a completed journal and you're flipping through it and you are finding all these interesting things that you can then pull out you can have a look you can pull things out you can write things in there you know pretty 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 especially if you know this is also decorated in some way with some rub-ons and stickers and um, all sorts of different little things tag here oh I think it's fun that's what makes it all interesting and then let's see we have a pocket here oh so many imagine this like so many different things to look at you know such fun I'm just trying to find a page where I can have trying to find a really sturdy page so but a lot of these are decorated okay so let's have a look here this one would look good and then we have something like this we might want to clip it on like that and then it's clipped on a page and it looks really beautiful so what I would really really like for this one is a side pocket but this way so if I would have it on a page I would have it this way because this is where all the sliding happens right okay so then when this comes out you know you can do your thing pull everything out have a look so that's how I would have this on a page or if we had a pocket like this but on the other you know the other way like on this side or otherwise it can be this way in a pocket but then you know that's pocket in a pocket so I don't know I think I like it better clipped onto the page like this so I think I'm going to keep working with this idea as you can see I have so many pages left plus I have some different sizes of albums all you need really is one and a lot less people are now printing out their photos and doing the whole albums things so I find that there's lots and lots of photo albums floating around in secondhand stores so there's so much here for me to still play around with I hope I'm going to come up with more ideas but in the meantime I hope that you feel inspired I hope that you like seeing all these little goodies uh, let me know what you think 
Let me know if you have any other ideas on how you use them in your journals. So thank you for being here today and I will see you in my next video. Bye!